practice. So let's see the calculation for phonometer finding frequency of AC means. Okay, we are using electromagnet and using steel wire. So we can find this one uh, frequency mu is equal to 1 by 4 root m root t by l in also this unit. So m is equal to pi r square rho. Rho is nothing but the density of the steel wire, it's going to be 7800. Okay. Rho is equal to. So from here we can calculate m value. R is going to be radius of the steel wire. So we'll find out uh, from the calculation. So first one is we need to find root t by l for that the calculation is going to be mass into 10 to the power minus kg. And I have uh, put 1800 and I have obtained uh, 58 as a vibrating length. Okay. So actually this is uh, this won't be in a round of value. I just took it uh, randomly. Uh, around 58, 56, 52, 48 and 40. It might be for, for 58.2 or 57.9 also. So you need to uh, note the exact value. For calculation purpose, I have done like this. Okay, let's find T. T is equal to M into G. Mass is going to be 1800, exponential of minus 3 into 9.8 G. Okay, so we get 17.64. So likewise for 1600, 1400, we need to put 1600 exponential of minus 3. Look, you can use this exponential or you can go for 10 to the power. Look, in here, in some calculator, you will be having 10 to the power x. Okay, uh, here itself. If not, you can find like this. If you have like this, you need to press shift and press the log button. Then you will be getting 10 to the power. Okay, so power you need to put minus 3. This is one method or you can directly put exponential of minus 3. Exponential means 10 to the power. Okay. So, 1600 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.8 gives you 15.68. So, let's do this one. So, root t, we need to find the root of answer. Sorry. Root of answer gives out 3.9597. Okay. Let's do for this root of 17.64 is equal to 4. Point. So, likewise, we can put for all these three values. Let's find for root t by l. 4.2 divided by l value is 58 exponential of minus 2. Why? We are measuring it with the length. Okay. So, the unit is going to be 10 to the power minus 2 meter. I am writing in meter. Okay. 58 into 10 to the power minus 2. So, it gives out 7.241. Okay, so likewise for this 3.9597 divided by 56 exponential of minus 2, 7.0708. We'll do the rest and we'll show you us. I have calculated the rest of the thing. So from here we can find uh, root t by l. Okay, root t divided by l value before this point. So by adding and uh, dividing to find out the mean, we get, we get 7.27218 for root t by l. Now the screw gauge value we need to calculate. So for screw gauge is going to be around uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. I am just taking uh, uh, randomly 5 values. Okay, it's around 42 to 48, 46, 48, 47, 39, 41, 40, 43. And if I'm going to do this one, 0 0.37, 0 0.39, 0 0.41, 0 0.40, 0 0.40. So add and divide up all this now. Okay, 0.37 plus 0.39 plus 0.41 plus 0.40 plus 0.43 divided by 5 gives you 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. So the formula is going to be is equal to 1 by 4 root m to root t by l. That's right. So, m is equal to pi r square rho. So, pi value is 3.14 into r is, this is actually d. Okay. So, d by 2 is r. d by 2 is r. So, 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter will be your r. So, 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 the whole square into 7800 gives you m value. So we can calculate m value 3.14 into look I am opening the bracket 0 0.2 exponential of minus 3 close the bracket square into 7800. So I am 
having uh, this one. Okay, nine point seven nine six eight into ten to the power minus four. Nine point seven nine six eight into ten to the power minus four. That's here. Yeah. So I need to find root m value. So put root of answer gives out zero point zero three one two nine nine eight. This is going to be your root m value. Substitute this in the formula. T is equal to one by four into root m. Right? Already have root m value. So answer into four. You saw four root m value. And if I'm going to divide this answer, one divided by answer gives out one by four root m. So I can write it as seven point nine eight seven two six into root t by l value is going to be seven point two. Seven point two seven two one eight. So I can multiply these values. Answer into seven point two seven two one eight. Give so five eight point zero eight four. So actually the hertz is going to be fifty eight point zero eight hertz. The frequency is going to be fifty eight point zero eight hertz.